I'm Adam Handling and this is the Great British Chef's Signature Series. I love cooking seafood. One, it's very skillful to do, but if it's done right, it's fantastic. For me, Scottish seafood is the best. I love huge sauces, I love big flavours. All of my sauces in my dishes are really, really powerful. I first fell in love with cooking accidentally. I got an apprenticeship in Glen Eagles Hotel and I was inspired, inspired by the team, inspired by the flavours. It was just a magical environment to be in and then that's when I was like, okay, I want to be a chef. The dish that I'm going to be doing is halibut, mussels and potatoes. My idea for this dish is very simple, to have two main components. Shellfish being a mussel and halibut being the fish, but to utilise every single part of it. So within that fish, all the skirt from the outside that everyone throws away, or the bones, we scrape them to make sure there's no meat on it and make a mousse with it. So before we start any of the fish work, the fish is great, it's really, really lovely, but you want to really take out the excess water, the impurities of the fish, so I'm going to make a brine. I'm doing a 10% uh, brine, so I've got 500 mils of water and I've got yeah, literally about a teaspoon is the same amount of salt. Dissolve the salt inside of the water and then you're going to drop the fish into the water. If it floats to the top because of the salt content, push it down and I'm going to let that sit for six minutes. I've already prepped the halibut. And all we're going to do is we're going to put a thin layer of mousse onto the fish. Super simple. You have your fish, you blend it with a little touch of egg whites, you pass it, you finish it with a little bit of cream and all the chopped mussels that you've put in your sauce. So in this mousse, you have the skirt and all the trim from the halibut. And then all this chopped stuff inside of it is actual mussels. For me, the reason why I use it is because one, I respect the fish. I respect the fishermen that have worked hard to do it. And teaching everyone to utilize everything saves you money, fundamentally, and it makes you sleep better at night. So now that I've put the mousse on, I'm gonna put it in the steamer for about seven minutes. So, mussel stock. The same way if you're making mussels at home and you're roasting them, inside there it's been passed through a coffee filter. Dijon mustard, butter that's been whipped with seaweed, and egg yolks. So this one basically is similar to what a traditional velouté is. So a velouté, traditionally, is when it's a stock is thickened with egg yolks and cream. So this sauce has got the stunning mussel flavor. Very simple, a couple of kilos of mussels, a splash of white wine, get all that juice out of it. So this is blended butter with seaweed and then we're gonna warm it up. So the stock I'm warming up with the butter, but I'm still gonna keep it moving so that I don't get a line of grease on the top. You wanna kind of emulsify it in, but it doesn't need to be completely. So we're gonna do that with the egg yolks. And the one thing that I've learned when making these specific types of sauces is adding a spoon of mustard into something that is like clam or mussel stock really brings out that flavor of the mussel. You can already smell it. The seaweed is coming out the butter, so it tastes very fresh like the sea. You can smell the mussels in there, which fundamentally is a good point because it's a mussel sauce. I enjoy making food that is perhaps not the traditional way. It's all traditional foundation, but the flavors of how I, what I add to it it's very selfish. It's really what I like to eat. But you go to a restaurant named after me to taste food that I am really passionate about, and this is what it is. So now the butter's inside of it. You want to whisk it, and then you want to take it off the heat completely. We're going to put it back on the heat very shortly. Just like you would an anglaise, you want to put a little bit of the stock back into the egg pan, mix it up, and put it all back in. So the reason I put a little bit of the stock into the eggs and to mix it is so that I don't waste any of the egg. Egg is thick, when you're scraping it, you'll miss some. But as soon as I've done it now to the pan, I can see it's automatically thickened up and it doesn't look like it's split from the uh, butter. I'm gonna add this to the heat and I'm gonna drop the heat right down. Now, very important, there's eggs in here. As soon as it boils, you've just made yourself scrambled eggs. So that's one of the reasons why a lot of restaurants don't make the sauce this way. But for me, I love it. And it won't take long. It'll take about a minute max. And then you remove it straight from the heat and you let it sit which is perfect timing because your fish is now ready. So the fish is steamed lovely. You've got a little bit of residual juice from the fish. Let it sit, it will suck it back up. And you can see that the mousse is puffed up very slightly. Let the fish rest for a minute and it will come down, suck up all the juice and be perfectly easy to cut. So while I'm waiting on the fish to rest, which will be about a minute, I've got these little potatoes that I've just cooked them very, very slowly in olive oil with a bay leaf. And then I've peeled them with a knife. So they're actually this size. And we're gonna put them back into the olive oil I'm going to put them on the heat just to warm up and then literally 30 seconds they'll be done. So the fish is rested, so what we're going to do 
So now we're going to prepare it for plating. So take your, take your potatoes out the oil. Keep the oil because you're going to have some butter leaves that you're just going to rip and put them in it. You're not cooking it, you're just using the warmth of the oil, olive oil that you've already had your potatoes and bay leaves in because it's already full of flavour. While that's happening, I'm going to carve the fish ready to go. So with a sharp knife, cut it straight in half. Saw it, don't push it down. Regardless how sharp you think your knives are, if you press it down, you're going to rip it. Saw it. And then now, you see this lovely layer of the fish and the mousse. And then take the salad out of the oil that's warm. Even the root has been cooked inside of it. We're going to season the potatoes and the salad leaves, not the fish. The fish has been brined. And then we're going to add some fresh lemon to the salad. Not the fish, not the potatoes. So for me, the most hardest and easiest way to plate is to keep it natural. I don't do a thousand dots. I'm not a poncified chef that way. I like to keep it very nice and simple. So the fish is the main attraction, so let it shine. The potatoes, and then we layer it with the salad. If it falls down in a certain way, it falls down. And now for the sauce. It's got the texture of a nice custard, but the flavor of the sea. So this is halibut, mussels, potato, and butter leaf. Enjoy.